Pentagon officials say there are 165,000 U.S. troops serving in the Persian Gulf at this time. That translates into a lot of fearful goodbyes. Bill Wood reports there was one more goodbye said this morning in Albuquerque. The Albuquerque bus station is one of those places to say goodbye. That's what they said today to James Romero, 19 years old, just pinned private first class. He's in the Army now and off to Saudi Arabia. After you sign that paper, it's your responsibility. You're part of the United States Army. He doesn't want to go to war. I don't want him to go to war, you know? We have a family. A big family with a wife and a six-month-old son, cousins with cameras, and a mom. I'm angry that, you know, that they have to go anyway, all of them. You know, they don't know where they're going. They don't know when they're coming back. James Romero comes from a family with lots of love, but very little money. His dream always was to become a doctor. And that's why, about a year ago, he joined the Army. In the military, his education includes obligation. But his dream never included Saudi Arabia or serving as a medic right on the front line. It's there, and you got to go. That's the bottom line. What this is over, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth making the families go through the pain. The bus takes him to Texas and Fort Hood, where on Wednesday, a plane takes him to the Middle East. He won't be back for a year or more. The Albuquerque bus station was one of those places to say goodbye. Bill Wood with the news from Albuquerque. Albuquerque's Sunshine Theater used to be a vaudeville and silent film house. Now it has a more classic look.